Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I'm going to create a card using a banner die. This is a die that has been released by Altenew in their latest release and as you can see I have cut it out and this banner actually covers up completely a card front so you can use it for home decor or for creating banners for birthdays, uh, celebrations etc. But you can also use it as a banner on a card. For doing all my stamping I'll be using inks from this oval set which is called Cherry Blossom and I will be using a new stamp set which is called Leaf Canopy. I will be stamping the large and the small stamp of those uh, leaf branches and the idea is to cover up uh, pretty much uh, the top of this banner and every time I'm stamping uh, the, a bunch of leaves I will be using a different shade of uh, those pink uh, inks. Now just because this is a, a big and solid image I need to stamp a couple of times to get a good impression and that's why I'm using my stamping platform. And here is a trick I like to do, instead of using my magnets I like to apply some repositionable tape on top of my platform and this way I don't have to use the magnets and they don't get in my way. Now I'm going to position the second branch. The banner die comes with two little circle dies that I have used here to cut out those little holes at the top of my banner but these are completely optional so if you don't want them on your banner you don't have to use them and cut them out. However I was planning to use some ribbon on my panel and that's why I used them. I haven't used my ribbons for so long so I thought it would, uh, this was a great opportunity to go back to them. Now I'm placing the outline stamps on top of the solid ones that I have already stamped and I am deliberately placing them a little bit offset. I happen to like the offset look but uh, you can obviously line them up uh, perfectly if you want to. I'm stamping everything with Versamark ink and then I'm going to apply my gold embossing powder. Now before you apply your embossing powder always make sure that the ink is totally dry. I forgot to do that on this panel and that's why I have to play a little bit with a brush to clean up uh, some areas. Now I'm using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and you can see the gorgeous golden outline. In the same stamp set there is a bunch of wonderful sentiments that you can use. I went with the one that says sending lots of love which I am going to stamp again with my embossing ink and then I'm going to apply the same embossing powder. And now I'm going to thread this ribbon through those holes and I'm going to tie a bow. I remember back in the days when uh, ribbons were really trending on top of cards and I have a bunch of them that I'm not using so once in a while I like to go back to them. I think they give an extra something on our cards. And now my panel is ready, all I have to do is to stick it on top of a standard card Notice that at the top of the banner the corners are rounded, so I will round up the top corners on my card base. I'm just using my corner chomper there, so those uh, little uh, corners will not show. Now since I'm using white on white, I wanted to make this fishtail banner pop a little bit more, so I'm going to use this um, big clear stamp. This is from the Pinstripe stamp set and I didn't even bother to peel it off the um, stamp set. I'm just going to use it as it is. I am applying my embossing ink and I'm going to apply my card base directly on top. And then I'm going to apply my gold embossing powder. So everything is going to tie nicely together with touches of gold on both my banner as well as on my card base. And now it's time to put everything together by using foam tape to add some dimension. And my card is ready. Just some finishing touches by adding some dots in the same color with my Nouveau Drops. And uh, as always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now also make sure to visit my blog because you will find there a coupon code for 15% off on everything you want to buy. Make sure to check it out since this deal is awesome and it's going to run all through the weekend. Here are some close-up photos on the card that I made today. Thank you all so much for visiting and I hope you all have a lovely weekend.